Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. Uh, so this is about a pool ionizer. So what is a pool ionizer? Well, and why do you want one? Um, well, this is a salt water pool system. Okay, I've got a uh, salt in the pool, and then I have this uh, chlorinated device. Okay, that charges the water and produces the chlorine. Yeah, that it works very well. It does work very well. However, however, I have noticed at times, especially in the hotter weather, that I get a little bit of algae creeping in. And I'm going to try and show you. I don't know if you can see it down there. A little bit of algae there, and then some of the grouting. Okay, along there. It's a little bit dirty on the bottom as well, I need to brush it again. Um, so a quick search on the internet, actually the water is very clear, you can see the dirt no problem. Yeah, a quick search on the internet and people were going on about uh, ionizers. You know, you, you put copper, uh, what, it is, what effectively it is, is two copper electrodes or a copper and a silver one, you put electric current through it uh, and you run it um, in line with the pump and it pumps copper ions into the water then the ions cling to the bacteria it breaks the bacteria down then they die right okay so that's that's the basic rundown of how they work so let's take a look at what i've got running at the moment it's over there we'll take a quick look and um and then we'll go into the kitchen and i'll give you a rundown of uh, how I, how i put it all together so we've got the solar panel here then, um, more details on that in a minute. Um, the sun's going down now so we're, we're losing a bit of power. But I just wanted to show you on my SS car door, on my ice cream tub, I don't know if the camera can pick it up, it might be a bit too, might not be bright enough. Can you see some fizzing going on on the electrode in one of the bars? Yeah, see it just there? Of course it was a lot stronger earlier on because the sun was a bit brighter. Alright, so we'll just let that float around anyway. I'll probably change the wiring for it. I'll put the solar panel around the back and bring some wire around so it can follow that hose pipe around. You know, and it can just bob around in front of the hose pipe. Okay, let's get it inside and we'll have a closer look. So this is a quick rundown of what I've got here. As I showed in the other video, I've, I've got this um, solar panel. It does seem a little bit overkill. Um, I mean, it's, it's, it's 22 volts, not under load. Uh, it's a 10 watt pan panel. Yeah, maybe it's too much. I was looking for one of those small panels, you know, the ones you put on your dashboard of your car, you plug into a cigarette lighter. But, you know, beggars can't be choosers. And I picked this up from a, a marine shop in Marmaris, so, yeah, I'm okay with this. Uh, essentially, it's just that. It's the copper pipe, um, as you can see right here. And then under here, I, I, you can see I've hot glued it in place. Just cut a hole in the bottom of this tub. And then inside here, you can also see that I've hot glued the, the pipes on the other side. And then I've soldered each wire onto the uh, top of each pub, uh, top of each pipe. Um, if you haven't got a car door, or ice cream tub then well you can always go and buy some ice cream couldn't you eat it and then you can use the tub yeah that's yeah you've got to have a bit of pleasure haven't you all right so look there's the there's the setup anyway if this works i'll probably make something that looks a, maybe a little bit prettier not that it matters too much um but it does look like there's an old ice cream tub floating in the swimming pool <laughs> so all right, well, that's the rundown anyway. The cable, of course, there's cable. You see the cable ties. Um, you put them around the, the individual pipes, and then that acts as a spacer. So, of course, you know, so you've got that slight gap. Of course, they can't touch. Of course, you can't have it touching because it will short circuit. And then, of course, you've got these uh, just to hold the two pipes together, you know, against the other cable ties. Uh, and that's essentially it. I, I, I might. Can, I might change this connection here and I'll put a three-way switch in um, so I can just switch it over and it will just change the polarity okay um, because 
you can you can see obviously you know one of them will be clean and one will be dirty and if I was if I was to swap the polarity over then this one will be clean and that one will be dirty <laughs> so it doesn't hurt to do that you know make a little switch and just so they, it keeps them even anyway okay right that's enough for now so to recap then that was a quick breakdown of the of the system Oh, yeah, OK, I'll run this for a few weeks. I'll come back in a few weeks and uh, let you know how we got on. I'm not expecting miracles, but if, if it can do something to hold the algae back, it will be great. I do brush the pool, believe it or not. I'm not, that, I'm not, I'm not so manky, you know, but um, I, I, it just appears that when the algae gets embedded into the grouting, it's very hard to get rid of. So I'm, I'm banking on... Um, I'm banking on the system working, you know, so it can kill the algae, uh, and then we get a nice, fresh, clean-looking pool again. The, the the pH, the bromine, the chlorine, all the levels are good. It's no problem. Um, it's quite safe to swim in, uh, but it'd be just nice, you know, keep the maintenance down a bit and um, just make it look a bit nicer, wouldn't it, if it wasn't so green in places? All right. So thanks for watching and I shall see you in the next video. Okay, take care, cheers, bye.